Oh God, we have to talk about Metallica. Friends, Brian here for Yes You Can Play Guitar. And for those of you that don't know me or just checking on this channel for the first time, I have been a guitar player and guitar instructor and professional musician for over 30 years. I am going to bend and do this. I've had several reaction requests. You know, on my channel, I do reactions, I do interviews, and I give out guitar lessons and guitar tips. Because, you know, learning the guitar does not have to be near as hard as people make it out to be with all the confusion out there. But nonetheless, we are going to react to this new Metallica song called If Darkness Had a Sun. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I have a feeling we're going to be talking about Metallica at length because some things need to be brought up that people just, some people just aren't talking about and I want to keep it as real as I can. I've performed and played and studied many types of music, but at my heart, I'm a metal guy. I'm a thrash guy. I love Bay Area thrash. Of course, Metallica was a big part of that. So for all you youngins out there, I am an old timer, old fan of Metallica. We'll talk about that after. I have been out of touch. You know, I've had people, a lot of people ask me to react to, was it Lux A. Turner or whatever the, f I didn't. I, I have been quite out of touch with Metallica for some time. I'll talk about it at the end. But I wanna watch this uh, song, the new video, If Darkness Had a Sun, open mind, fresh perspective. And uh, let's check it out and see what's up. Okay, friends, we gotta talk about Metallica here. And this is not gonna be an easy video to make. And I am gonna to speak to you from the heart and as honest as, and concisely as I can. Metallica are, are very picked on bands, okay? When you're one of the top bands in the world, it's gonna happen, you're gonna get criticism. From my personal perspective, this is the reality. We all, if you're into music, if you're into hard rock, if you're into metal, if you've taken up an instrument in the 80s or 90s or beyond, there's a good chance that Metallica was one of your inspirations for picking up whatever instrument you're playing. I owe a lot to Metallica, so when it comes to the old timers who really criticize the new Metallica stuff, I kind of avoid that because I'm grateful to Metallica, okay? I, you know, my very first professional gig 23 years ago, I got a phone call from a professional Metallica tribute band, you know, where the dudes tour and they look like the people in the band. Their lead guitar is split. I had two weeks to learn 35 Metallica songs and solos note for note, and I was playing in front of a thousand people. That was my first real professional gig, and I got paid. I owe that to Metallica. I owe Metallica for so many memories in the 80s. Growing up, whether I was in the gym or I was jamming in bands playing Metallica cover songs. I loved James Hetfield and Kirk Hammett's playing. You know, they really spearheaded a genre of metal. I didn't find this particularly good or inspiring. Now. I'm trying to be kind, I'm trying to be thoughtful. You know, it must be hard when you're that successful to have that pressure on your shoulders to be creative and they were very innovative when they started out. Like, I remember listening to Ride the Lightning. You know, I like Kill 'Em All, but I remember I first heard Metallica in 1985, I was 12. Master of Puppets had just come out. When Battery came on, everyone was like, what is this? We were all used to listening to like, you know, Van Halen and Rat and Motley Crue and then all of a sudden we hear this, we're like, oh my God. Those feelings I can't convey to you people out there. And I often tell the story of, in 1987, I was in grade nine. Yeah, that long ago, man. I loved Metallica. You know, I remember being in my study hall with an old Walkman, Sony Walkman, playing a tape. God, those things used to eat up batteries. I was listening to Master of Puppets or Ride the Lightning, and some guys came up to me and they said, what are you listening to, man? I said, I'm listening to Metallica. They said, oh, that stuff's out, man. You gotta listen to rap. Rap is where it's at. Hmm. I said, no, it's okay, I, I like my metal. I, I'm gonna listen to Metallica. Well, in 1991, I was still in high school. When the Black Album came out, those same guys were all of a sudden wearing Metallica shirts. That was where it officially began, where it became cool to like Metallica. Like a lot of the old timers, I am guilty. You know, with time, I learned to really uh, appreciate and respect the Black Album. There's some amazing music on it. 
But like all the old timers, I was kind of like, oh, now they're getting really popular. I have to kind of distance myself from this. And to be honest, I have not kept really in touch a lot with what Metallica was doing. Here and there, you know, I would hear a song out of the blue, a new song, didn't think too much of it, or I'd have a student come in saying, hey, this is the new Metallica, can you show me the riff to whatever the song is? I did watch some kind of monster. I did find that documentary very intriguing about when Jason Newstead left the band and what they were going through. Um, Saint Anger has gotten a lot of bad rap. You know, people make fun of the snare sound in it. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I, I didn't really like the album, but I liked the first two songs. I actually paid and downloaded them off of iTunes and they're on my gym playlist. I like listening to Frantic and I like listening to Saint Anger when I'm lifting. For when I listen to those songs, it just gives me just a little bit of that feel when I used to listen to them in the 80s. But you know, I owe Metallica. You know, that was the start of my professional performing career. I, learning Metallica, the love I had of learning their songs and learning Kirk Hammett's licks and getting them up to speed and then putting some of them in my own playing and expanding as a guitar player. I never became famous in a band and that's okay. But, you know, I was able to make a very good living teaching guitar. I love teaching guitar. Well, I owe part of that to Metallica because they were part of my inspiration to loving music. And this is why I try to be very kind with what I'm saying about them. The guitar solo wasn't that bad, okay? You know, you can still hear Kirk has his bag of licks and tricks that he does. It wasn't that bad. But, you know, it just, there was nothing inspiring there that that old metal gallop, da 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 and you know of course the first word was temptation like come on James like I know he's been going through a hard time he's been had a lot of personal battles going on it's just one of those things as an old fan you, you think you know if Metallica could have looked into the future when they were recording Injustice for All and Master of Puppets and they could have seen the future and seen that song what would they have thought of it at that period of time now I know with bands people grow they change you know, and especially when you're young and angry. You know, when I was a teenager and in my 20s, I walked around angry all the time. I didn't even know what the hell I was mad at most of the time. Now I look back and go, man, that was a silly waste of energy. But it was what it was. But, you know, to try and carry that intensity with you into your 60s, forget about it, man. It's tough. I remember seeing an interview with Burton Bell, vocalist for an amazing metal band called Fear Factory, about 10 years ago. He said, look, man, I'm in my 40s. I got kids. I got daughters. You know, like I... It's hard for me to sing about, you know, murdering and hurt, hurting people anymore. He said, I'm just not that angry guy anymore. So in a way, I feel bad for Metallica. Like, you know, they're put up on this pedestal by a lot of people who don't even truly love the band. They're just kind of being cool because it's the cool thing is to like them. I think a lot of you out there, you can say what you want about me, but be honest. Are you a fan of Metallica because you love them and the music or just because it's a trendy, cool thing to do? Someone says, if you ask anyone on the street, hey, can you name a heavy band? Who's the first band they're going to say? Metallica. They're not going to say, oh, I like Meshuggah. You know, I was listening to In Flames the other day or, you know, Cannibal Corpse is great. Probably not going to happen if you went into your grocery store and asked someone that. But, you know, for sharp contrast, I am a Bay Area thrash guy. My favorite metal band of all time is Testament. Okay. If you look at Testament now, who really are in the same age bracket as Metallica, they're friends, they kind of came up together in the scene, you know, they've had their ups and downs, but you know, you listen to them now, you know, like the solos are as shredding as ever. They, they sing about new, interesting, cool stuff. The vocals are great. The riffs are awesome. They have, always have kick-ass drumming, but you know, there's just something here that just seems really stale and recycled about Metallica. And it's not out of, you just, I almost feel bad for them. It's like, you know, the other thing I think about too is, you know, I hope for Metallica that when they do this, when they go out and play, it's because they love playing. They love coming up with songs. They love making albums. They do it because they still love it and that they're not trapped in some type of corporate money-making machine legally that they can't get out of they're in over their heads with where they, you know, it, could they just retire? Man, if I had their money, I would have been retired probably 15 years ago saying it's been a slice guys. I may have pulled a little bit of a Jason Newstead and said, Hey, you know what? I got, I got some money. I'm okay. I'm going to have a cabin out in the woods. going to have a big old barbecue, big old truck. going to have a nice gym in the basement, walk in freezer with all kinds of food, big old satellite dish, you know, 
I, I just hope that they're doing it for the right reasons. Because to me, from what I'm feeling when I'm, I'm seeing that, it's not. I, I, it's not inspiring. There's no passion there. And, you know, in some ways I feel bad for them. You know, with all the success and money, I, that must be very hard to be in that situation as this amazing band that was an innovator that turned heads that, you know, I remember seeing an interview with James Hetfield, probably 88 or 89, when they were doing the Injustice for All tour. He said at that time, before the Black Album came out and they really got into the mainstream, he said, hey, we have enough money. We don't really have to worry about money anymore. That was before they really got into the mainstream, man. So it's, I just hope they're doing it for the right reasons. If they are, fantastic. All the best to them. But if they're not, I think it's starting to show. It's only my opinion. What do you guys think? Comment below. Is there any other songs that you'd like to see me do a reaction video or talk about? Remember, guys, practice hard, practice smart, no excuses, and we'll see you soon.